Good morning. We're back on our boat now for, well, for the rest of the year until November. And our plan was, in fact, we should be there now. We'd booked a dry dock on the Basingstoke Canal to touch up all the paintwork before we go out for the year. Unfortunately, um, last week, just before we were due to leave, we got a call from them saying there's not enough water, which I think is a, a problem that they often have on the Basingstoke, although not usually until the summer. But I think this time it's because there's a problem with a lock gate. Um, so we've had to rebook it for the 25th of April um, and go up there just before then and hope that we can get down to the dry dock. When you go onto the Basingstoke Canal, you have to be escorted up through the locks because they're all really leaky and they have lock keepers who cork them up as you go through. Um, one of the, the lock gates is called um, Ash Lock, so I think that they actually use ashes to do it, or used to, I'm not sure, we'll find out. Problem is that we also had to leave our winter mooring because Funk and Boathouse have a higher fleet and it's just coming up to, well it is the end of uh, March, 1st of April today, and they're going to be really busy down there. So they gave us an extra week, but we had to go. So that means we've got three weeks to inch our way up to the Basin Soak Canal because it's not very far, like 12 miles or something, I can't remember, maybe a bit 20 miles, but it's certainly not, you know, it's about a mile a day. So we've come down to Godalming and we're hanging around down here for a few days. Um, we're actually on the facility point. There's no boats around at the moment because we've had a cold blast of snow and there's nothing much moving um, so we're okay here and we're happy to move off if, any, if anybody comes down it does mean that we can't have the dry dock for as long as we wanted because I have to be around in Brighton over May which means taking the boat into London so that I can get back every weekend because I have a big exhibition every weekend in May as part of the Brighton Festival so consequently we're left with five days in dry dock which isn't quite enough to do everything we wanted so what we're going to do is try to get the roof done before we get up there um take all the little bits that have bubbled up back to metal cover them with plastic while it's really cold because we can't put paint on um, at the moment um, and then get it all ready and then as soon as we get a day and a night where the temperature's uh, gone up and there's no rain forecast we can just sand the whole roof and put an extra coat of top coat down the lot and then that will mean by the time we get up there one of the jobs will be done so we'll see what happens it's still not a given that we'll actually get onto the Basingstoke Canal when we get up there but fingers crossed we will so then for the rest of the year we're going to be doing a really big loop. So I'll show you what our plans are. So we are right down here at the most southerly point of the whole network. And we're going to be coming down here on the Basingstoke, down through Deep Cut to our dry dock. And then for May, we're going to be going up on the Tidal Thames, which we haven't done before and then hot footing it around to East London and hopefully we'll catch up with somebody we know on a boat down there and we're going to hang around there for three or four weeks and then we're going to come here and we're going to go up the Grand Union and through Leicester and then up the Trent and then up to here and then around here, all the way to Hebden Bridge, hoping to catch up with a friend of ours who lives in Skipton. But you'll have to drive because it would take us weeks to get around there. And then we can loop all the way back around, down here, around there, back to the Grand Union, and all the way back down to London again for the winter. So that's the plans at the moment. We did think about going from the most southerly tip 
right up to the most northerly tip which would be up here in Ripon and we will do that one year but this year would have meant just going straight up there and then straight back down again so we'd prefer to do the loop so that's what we're going to do in the meantime down here in Godalming they've got a spring festival on and the sun is out it's a glorious day freezing but lovely so we're going to go and see what's on offer at the festival i'm sure it'll be very artisan Unfortunately, rain has stopped play on the outside painting um, and we are going to have to move a bit up the river because just um, a couple of miles up from here there's a super low bridge and last time we tried to go through it we didn't get through and we lost our tunnel light and our um, horn um, and it's, it's supposed to rain all week so we need to get past that bridge so that we can keep moving on so there's a weather in the rain a window in the rain coming up in a bit so we're gonna move the boat around and go and see if we can get under the bridge because if we can't get through today we're not going to get through in the meantime before we go we've got to try and fish out some stuff that blew into the canal yesterday oh it's a sanding pad And under this, there's a, like a, um, an outlet. So every time we try and pick it up, it goes under there. You'd have to scoop it underneath. You have to let it come out a bit further, I think. And there's also a piece of plastic over there that blew off our boat and we can't leave them. Oh, here we go. Scoop it from this side so we can't go back. It's like being at the fairground. Yes, well done. This is the trim we've just bought to finish off a curved kitchen door. It's doubling up now as a litter picker. We can reach it, but we can't quite get it. So Henry's put a screw in the end to try and hook it. I'm on a mission to get plastic out of the water, especially on rivers, because obviously if it's in the river, it's going to end up in the sea eventually. So 
I try to remove between one and three pieces from a river or canal every day so we can't be leaving our own litter in there, especially when it's plastic. <laughs> it's quite funny there. Oh, well done. Oh, I've got the litter picker. Hold on, I get it. Yes. So before we attempt the bridge, we're taking everything down that could cause an obstruction. So the tunnel light and horn is off. And the solar panel mounts are off there. And we're going to take these ones off as well just to be sure and that doesn't matter because it's magnet it just goes down if it gets hit and these should be low enough because obviously it's the front of the boat that's higher <sighs> just coming up to the tricky bridge now it's not actually the lowest bridge on the network um, the next one we've got well not the next one but on the Basingstoke canal is the lowest bridge which I think we can just squeeze through but the Basingstoke is a canal and the water levels don't go particularly high there quite the opposite in fact but this is a river so you have to contend with river heights so they give you a warning over there. It's definitely lower than the last time we came through. So you have to take it really slowly and try to slide under and see if you're going to make it. We should be fine today, <laughs> she says. Broadford Bridge, that's its name. I know I've had a few boaters message me and say that they couldn't get underneath it or got stuck underneath it but I think it is all down to the river height. We've done it. <laughs> with at least an inch to spare <laughs> oh that's a relief and just after the bridge we found a really nice place to moor up bird song trains, a little bit of traffic and we're just going to have a little look around our surroundings because I'm on the hunt for some wild garlic and there must be some somewhere.
I don't think I want to go in any further. I've seen this year quite early. No wild garlic, but we've scored a good trolley full of logs, so that'll keep us warm. Some of them are already cut. <laughs> they were. And then next morning we set off again, but it was a really windy day, and unfortunately, what we didn't know at the time was just under that tree up ahead was a big obstacle in the water. So the bow got pushed back to the bank again and Henry trying to get away from the bank, unfortunately, drove straight onto whatever it was that's under that tree and got promptly stuck after trying to pole off for an hour or so some towpath walkers came and helped us rock the boat and we reversed we pushed forward and we did everything that you're supposed to do to get yourself off but it wasn't stuck front or back they kept moving around it was the middle that was stuck She's moving but she wasn't and down there is where the obstacle is anyway after about two hours a boat came along and tried to pull us off but it was uh it was too light so didn't we couldn't get anywhere and then another boat came along with four men on it and with a lot of tugging to the side and pushing around we finally got off about three hours in total it's saturday morning and we've um, got a fantastic sunny day it's really warm with the Sun coming out however last night it poured with rain and then froze just before dawn so when I came out this morning the boat was like a popsicle I just finished putting the um, the last of the undercoat on the um, patches that I've been filling in all week so not ideal really it's been a bit showery all week and I've been painting between showers and then hoping it's cured enough before um, the showers came and I think it's been fine really you know you you work with what you've got so we're going to make the most of today there's no rain forecast for today or tomorrow Henry's taking all the solar panels off and then we've got to come down the boat um, with a, a light sand over the whole roof and get a coat of paint on today hopefully while the sun's out and bright and it can cure it off nice and quickly so that's the plan for today let's see how we get on And there she is, fresh coat of paint all the way down. We had to work like Billio because the uh, leading wet edge was drying very quickly with the sun on it, but it's done, looking good. One more coat tomorrow and then we're good to go on that. Well, that's it for this video. Second coat on the roof and it's looking great. And we're just packing up ready to get on with the next bit so see you on the next video bye for now